Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. I've already done one for August. I'll tag it to the end. So anyway, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August? Keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Mm. So we got two cards that are out. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Okay. First, second, and third. So wall, misunderstanding. This is the first card that came out. So there's a misunderstanding you're gonna be dealing with this month. Okay, you may be misunderstanding something. Somebody may be up against the wall. Um, it's very interesting uh, because before this, and it happened with the Capricorn reading as well, I had a song, I sat down, I get ready to do your reading, I had a song pop into my head and I listened to it. Same thing happened with Capricorn. This one was, Is This Love by White Snake. So I listened to it and, and I, always, I always listen to them with the lyrics because I want to see, I want to be able to read the lyrics. And uh, my back is up against the wall. So somebody's back may be up against the wall. I'm not sure how that resonates with you. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Um, maybe your back is against the wall. Maybe it's another person's. I'm not sure. But anyhow, um, Is This Love was the song. And then Hand, In Need of Help, Assistance, or Guidance. So somebody needs a hand. Uh, maybe they need your help. I'm not sure what is going on. But um, there is some sort of misunderstanding and somebody's back is up against the wall. Okay. Um, so what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You know, what I want to say, and I just heard, was thank you, God. So, thank you, God. I was just sitting here and I was thinking, just now as I was shuffling these cards, thank you, God. So, hmm, maybe there's a blessing in disguise here. I don't know. Join us. Something about join us. Somebody is going to be getting an invite to something. Oh, I just I just flipped it. Sorry. I flipped the deck. This deck is upright. Upright only. Um, it's an oracle deck. So anyhow, um, what do we have for Virgo? Invite. Um... Gemini could be dealing with Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Lovers, the lovers. Something about the lovers here. Unexpected choice in love. Ooh, your soulmate is not who you think it is. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Let's get one more. What do we have for Virgo? 666. 666 six, six. Six, six, six is not a devil number. It means it's time to get your life back on track. It's, it's, heading, it's headed towards peace and harmony. It's headed towards balance, okay? You've been in some sort of struggle. You've been in some sort of conflict. Things are going to start evening out. You're going to be heading in a new direction, okay? This direction that you're headed in does lead to balance and harmony, okay? This is uh, taking the steps that you need to take to have that balance and harmony in your life, okay? Um, you're on the right path and you are headed in the right direction. And I use this deck all the time, as you are very well aware. 7777 seven, seven, seven is a number of from heaven, okay? Things are going to change. It's a very positive change, okay? We go from 6 to 7. You're going to be increasing. You, you may, your, your spiritual awakening uh, may be 
increasing. You may be, uh, be gaining some sort of spiritual insight during this time. Um, there's some sort of protection here as well. So if, if you've been rejected by somebody, rejection is God's protection. This is a, a godly number as far as I'm concerned. So I, I feel like rejection is God's protection is part of this story. Okay, I feel like you do have a soulmate here. I do with that Gemini card, with that uh, lovers or whatever it is. I feel like there's there's some sort of soulmate connection here. It's not who you think it is. Maybe you've been rejected by somebody um, and you're frustrated. You're very, very frustrated. Maybe you don't understand why you've been rejected. Maybe you've been rejected because your soulmate is not who you think it is. You're headed in the right direction. And I feel like that, you know, you've been seeking some sort of help or assistance and it's going to arrive. It is going to arrive. So let's get one of these and see what comes up. This is just an overall energy for this deck. We're just going to get one card. Ooh, you it's beautiful. The Empress, the Empress. So the Empress is the birth of a new life, but it comes after pain. So I don't know if you've been in some sort of excruciating pain or you've been suffering or whatnot, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is a beautiful new life that you are creating. It's a time of incubation, okay? I feel like you're going to be receiving a blessing. The Empress gives birth to a blessing. This is a miracle. Okay, if you are this woman that is watching this, you are an empress, you are beautiful, you are sought after, you're glowing. Um, you know what happens, the empress, when she, she's, she's glowing, she's beautiful. It's harvest time as well. You are about to, you are giving birth to a new life. If you are a masculine watching this, there is a feminine around you that can nurture you, love you. This is unconditional love. This is a motherly energy, um, tender loving care. This is, this is a blessing. So somebody has a blessing here. They're about to be blessed with some sort of, uh, gift. Okay. A gift is coming. She gives birth. This is a miracle. Okay. When you give birth, it's a, it's an absolute blessing. Um, but it's painful, okay? You don't get that blessing without experiencing pain. Nobody gives birth without experiencing pain. It's just the way it is. I mean, that's a fact. So, but the, the, the reward at the end of it is beyond anything that you ever experienced, right? So you do have a blessing here after a painful time you've been in some sort of incubational period where you know there's been some struggles and you may have thought you were never going to get through it you're about to be blessed okay you are about to be blessed with something uh, that is even more beautiful than you even expected okay mm. Sacred wisdom fell right out of the deck. Sacred wisdom. So you're gaining some sort of wisdom. We have that owl, which is the highest form of intuition, you know, the highest intuitive wisdom. So whatever it is that you have been through has heightened your intuition. It has heightened your spiritual growth and it has made you wiser. So um, sacred wisdom. Think carefully. Consider all options in your life transitions. Owls are deep and intense message bringers, encouraging you to connect to your inner visionary. The white owl shares wisdom with those who respect traditional processes. Protectors and knowledge keepers, these sage spiritual spirit animals offer you guidance and safeguard your spiritual work. Intuitive information and messages alike will always arrive with divine delivery. It's right next to the Empress. Empress delivers. She, she's, it's about delivery. And no sooner. Don't push. <laughs> you, for you females out there that have given birth, don't push. You ever been told that? 
I have. Anyhow, don't push it. No sooner when the time is right, you think about the Empress, you don't get to choose when you give birth, okay? You don't get to choose when that blessing arrives. You really don't. I know there's going to be somebody who says, oh yes, I was, I was induced. Well, whatever. You typically, even if it's in God's hands, you don't get to choose, okay? When the time is right, okay? And even if you were induced, then the time was right. Okay, you're still, even if you were induced, still going to come when, when it's time. It's time, okay? It's time. All right, but don't push it. Don't push it. Allow this delivery to happen in God's time, okay? It's happening. It's going to happen. It is, and you're going to be blessed, and it's going to be beautiful, and you're going to love it. So, anyhow, acknowledging change. The wise owl asks you to think carefully about how you approach life transitions. Look beyond what is, what is physically in front of you. More about your gifts and natural talents will be revealed to you when you remove the expectation of receiving certain results. Right now, honor your inner God or goddess. It's interesting that I've been bringing up God. And she's a goddess. The Empress is a goddess. Return to natural cycles in all that you are. Delve deep into your being to assess powerful base energies that resonate with your heart and instincts. Honor the divine feminine and the divine masculine that reside within your spirit. Keep your focus and direction on the present day or time will slip away into the abyss. Ideas will soon pass on to others if you continue to ignore spirit's messages. Lunar phases will affect you now. So the lunar phases are going to be affecting you now. Be mindful in your methods with others and listen to your inner voice. Listen to your inner voice. Past life influences will arise now. Deep attractions or a sense of knowing or kinship will make themselves known in abrupt ways. So there's going to be Deep attractions or a sense of knowing or kinship. They're going to be known in abrupt ways. This is like sudden. Listen to these messages. They bring you karmic lessons that will strengthen your soul. By embracing your connections to the past, you can empower your future self with new knowledge and positive energy. Sleep patterns are a primary focus now. Ensure you are getting enough sleep. Pay attention to your dreams. Hidden meanings and messages will assist you in your waking life. Journal your reflections to help you interpret this subconscious communication. So you're going to be receiving all kinds of messages, okay? You're gaining some sort of spiritual wisdom. But you're ignoring something in your gut. It's about somebody that you think is your soulmate. Join us. Join us. Join us on this spiritual journey. Be open to the possibilities. Things are going to start happening. This is going to be a month of intensity it's going to be very intense five of pentacles came flying out this is hardship you may be struggling maybe you're struggling to accept help from somebody or you're dealing with somebody who needs help um, victim mentality needs help being led in the wrong direction blinded blinded maybe you're not seeing clearly there's there's I feel like there's help that you need to ask for, but you're not wanting to. You're not wanting to ask for help. Three of Pentacles. There's some sort of material hardship here, financial hardship. You may need to learn some new skills. You may need to try something that you've never done before. Maybe you need to work together with somebody else. Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Five of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles. All about Pentacles. Pentacles are about stability, security, 
struggling, struggling. Maybe you're insecure. Maybe you need to secure yourself. Maybe you need to ground yourself. Be open to working with other people. Do not be stubborn. I think that you're really going to be focused with focusing on your money. You're going to be focusing on your stability. You're going to be focusing on your security. But there's, all, there's a need to learn some new things. Be open. Be open. Don't be closed off. You got some material work ahead. You have the power to be successful. Princess of Wands, upright. Strength. Ten of Cups. In the future. Ten of Cups in the future. That's happiness. That's a spiritual blessing. That's abundance. That's abundant love, okay? Five of Cups. Five of Cups in the past. Temperance. You need to accept this loss, whatever it is. There's something that you need to allow. Allow it to... It, maybe you've been left out in the cold. You've been... Uh, you're separated from somebody or somebody isn't, they've caused you some hurt, they've caused you some pain. You're struggling with change, struggling with accepting it, uh, crying over the loss, moping over the loss, wondering what happened, wondering what you did to deserve this. This is all happening for a reason. The temperance is a card of reason, it's a card of purpose. I feel like you need to uh, start working with other people, start, start connecting with other people. Open yourself up. Everything happens for a reason. There's a need for you to accept and allow that whatever this loss was happened for a reason. You may be dealing with somebody that is not very focused. I don't know if it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Somebody, this person is very adventurous, you know, they don't stick around. They, they go from one to the other, to the other, to the other. You know, they have abandoned you. They've neglected you. They, they don't want to settle down. They're very spontaneous. They're very impulsive. They, they have a lot of passion and desire to get their needs met. They may not be, they may be immature. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's not ready for uh, forever. And maybe you're, you've been thinking this person is your soulmate. grieving over a loss you 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 have to uh focus on the future turn around look in another direction you're missing an opportunity by crying over this loss whatever this loss is you have a new who i feel like you've you got somebody that you were dealing with that is very fly by the seat of their pants it's like they can't control themselves maybe they can't control their sexual urges i'm not sure if i don't know i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very driven by lust or something like that this person may have neglected you abandoned you i think that's what happened i feel like i feel like you have been abandoned i feel like you have been or you've been led in the wrong direction by led on led on by this person maybe this person led you on maybe they led you on they were just in it for all the wrong reasons okay maybe you made them feel secure in some way but they weren't ever true to you something like that i think right now you're you're in the you're in a stage where it's time to start working with other people i feel like you have some sort of skill that you can share with other people i feel like you have a gift of some sort or an art that can probably um, broaden your horizons in some way. I feel like you have a very graceful energy about you where, you know, you need to hold your head up high and be proud of who you are. I feel like whoever it is that 
took advantage of you or what used you or whatever or led you in the wrong direction i feel like you're you're you you need to find your inner strength to master your emotions hold your head up high and be proud of of what you've accomplished you're respected i feel like you have you have earned some sort of respect from other people are the other people around you know what this person did they do they do they know what this person did they know this person led you on they know this person has done this before okay they know this um and maybe you were in the dark maybe you were in the dark of this whole situation and and, and it's kind of like I don't know. It could be embarrassing. Anyhow, um, I feel like you really need to hold your head up high. I feel like you need to be strong. And I feel like during this month, that's the main focus. The strength card is right in the middle is be strong. Be strong as you are going through some, obviously some sort of transition. Okay. You're going through a period of healing as well. I feel like you have respect. You have respect. You have respect from your peers. You have respect from the people around you. They know. Okay, I do believe they know. Um, oh, I need to get one more card. Hold on. You are in a place where, you know, your, your grace and your tact and your gentleness is clear. Okay, it's easy to see. It's easy to see that you um, are in a very good place. You're in a very good place with who you are. And you should be. You should be proud of who you are. Um, devil reversed. Breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. So you are. I think that you've been in a situation. Maybe it was lust. Maybe it was greed. Maybe it was obsessed. And maybe you've been. Maybe you were obsessed with somebody because there was some sort of lust. I feel like it was lust. I do. This, you were really drawn to somebody in that kind of manner. You know, there was a lot of uh, attraction there. I also feel like you, whoever it is that you think was your soulmate, um, was toxic. This person was toxic. They were greedy. They were selfish. This was a lesson. It was a lesson. It was a lesson that you needed to learn about... Uh, yourself about your self-confidence your self-worth your self-value they came into your life to teach you your self-worth and your self-value anyhow it's time for a change i feel like right now you're evolving you're going through a period of evolution with the temperance card down here at the bottom you're gaining momentum you're gaining strength what doesn't kill you makes you stronger i feel like you um It's a healing period right now. Right now you're healing. This is the now. Working with others, going through a period of healing. You're evolving. This all is all part of your evolution. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It also makes you wiser. You got happiness in the future. A lot of happiness. But it's after you sever ties. And I know I'm not sure that you have completely severed ties You do have a new suitor here, just saying. You have a new suitor here that is a perfect match for you. This is somebody that is very um, attractive. You will be very attracted to this person as well. You may meet this person through a job or an event. I don't know if you're going to an event. If you're single, okay, if you're single, you know, and you've been moping, crying, whatever, over some sort of loss. I don't know if you meet this person through work or you go to an event and you're watching something, you know. I don't know, you're watching something and you meet this person. You may even be uh, showing something. I don't know if you're showing something and they're watching you. You could also be behind a counter. I don't know if you're behind a counter. I don't know what it is, but it feels like you're going to be meeting somebody. They're going to offer you something. They're going to invite you to something. You may be invited to something. We got this join us thing. I think that you're going to be invited invited to something and you're going to, if you're single, you're going to meet somebody that sees your beauty. They see your grace. They, they, they love everything about you. They're highly, highly attracted to you. Um, if you're single, but anyhow, if you are, uh, this is holding on to your value. Hold on to your value. Be patient. Wait. Wait for the one that is going to see your value. There is somebody here that is going to come in. 
that is going to see your value. They're going to put in a lot of effort. They, they're looking for happiness. They're looking for forever. But I feel like right now you need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on your self-value. You need to learn some new skills. You need to um, break free from a toxic bond that you have been. I feel like you've been obsessed with somebody. And I hate to say that. I hate to say that. But this is letting go of an obsession. It is. It's letting go of, a, of an obsession. It's it's uh, taking back control. Really taking back control. Taking get back control of your happiness. I also feel like there's inner peace here. You're finding your inner peace. You're focused on your inner peace. I feel like you're glowing as well. People can really see your beauty. Now, giving birth to a new life is painful. It is painful. But when you do give birth, the beauty on the other side is, or the, the gift, the miracle is even, it's, I mean, there's no words to explain the, the feeling that you feel when you get that blessing that you have waited so long to receive. So anyhow, you are going to be receiving a blessing. You are. And all this crap that you've been going through has caused your evolution it has made you into the person you are today it has made you wiser wiser it has helped you develop to develop your spirituality to develop your intuition okay it, it has made you into the beautiful person that you are okay so anyway i feel like um with the moon reversed on the bottom that is a release of fear a reality check I feel like something has been hidden below the surface. You've been waiting for it. You've been, it's about to pop up. It is a, things are about to pop. I'm, I'm positive. You're going to be receiving a blessing this month. You're going to, you are, you are. That leads you towards a lot of happiness. It is a spiritual blessing. You're breaking free from a toxic bond. You're going to be deepening a bond with somebody that is very well suited for you. There may be a little bit of an age difference with this person. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, I want to say four or five years. Could be more. Could be. Oh, why does that shit happen? I'm back. As I was saying, why does this shit happen? Right? I mean, I believe that's what I was saying. Um, why does this shit happen? That's part of the message. Why does this shit happen? Why does it happen? Because sometimes things happen, right? Sometimes things happen and it's out of your control. So I do believe that something has happened that is out of your control. But, you know, uh, everything is going to be okay. Um, you're gaining some sort of wisdom through some sort of experience that has probably happened very suddenly by the looks of things. You may have been left in the dark. You may have, maybe you were in the dark of, over a situation. Um, but there is clarity, right? There is clarity. You're going to be receiving some sort of clarity. Um, hmm. Giving birth isn't easy, right? Giving birth isn't easy. Getting your blessing isn't easy. It, it's not easy, okay? Um, you are about to receive a blessing after some sort of uh, situation that you have been in. It's interesting because at the beginning of this, I believe I said darkness. Maybe you've been in the dark. I, I said it at the beginning of this reading. Um, light will be shed. Light will be shed. You're going to be headed towards the light. You're going to be seeing the light. The light is the light is going to come back on eventually, right? It is. Um, finding your light. Finding your inner light. Finding a way to the light. Okay. Um, gaining some sort of spiritual wisdom through an experience that. Uh, you may have been in the dark about you're going to be you're gaining some sort of enlightenment um everything is going to be okay everything is going to be okay um
breaking free from a toxic situation, headed towards happiness, getting together with somebody, uh, somebody that is probably going to protect you, that wants to build a relationship with you. You do have an exciting new path, an exciting new doorway that is opening up for you. Where you, where you will be respected, you will be respected. You're going to be respected. There's unconditional love here with the Empress. Okay, that's unconditional love. So there's some sort of unconditional love. Get one more card. Eight of Swords reverse. An obstacle is being removed. There's been a lot of lies. You've been in a situation that has confined you, that has restricted you. You were choosing not to see. You were staying in that situation because it felt comfortable. Maybe it was your own mentality, thinking that you weren't valuable, thinking that you weren't worth it, thinking that you needed to stay in this situation. This is literally right next to the devil reverse, breaking free. Breaking free. Consider it freedom. Somebody is, is, is coming to help you heal as well. They're gonna, this is a healing energy a healing love, a healing period for you. So I think that you're going to be healing. You're going to be gaining. You have gained. You are gaining some more wisdom. This is a time of evolution. I already said that. Removing yourself from a situation that is toxic, that is unhealthy. Maybe it's out of self-love. I do see increased health as well. I feel like your health is going to be getting better. You may be focusing on your health, focusing on yourself. Maybe you're going to be focusing on your home. Dealing with some of your addictions. Maybe you're, 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 you're going to be uh, finding your discipline and your strength to heal yourself from some addictions this month maybe somebody is coming in that is going to help you that is going to give you the courage that is going to give you the uh, support maybe somebody is coming in that's going to give you the support to deal with these addictions whatever they are you are definitely going through a rebirth you're going through a, a, a very big transition You've been through a lot of pain. You are about to receive a blessing that you don't even, it's time. You don't know. You never thought it was going to come or it has been very uh, rough, okay? There's some tender loving care here that is right around the corner. Somebody is going to come in there and this is love, okay? It's love. It's a mother's love. It's, 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 it's love. There could be pregnancy here too. Somebody may be receiving news that they're pregnant, you know, and that could be a surprise if that's where you're at in your life and that's what you're, you know, there could be news of a pregnancy here. There's also, there's also a potential marriage here. Somebody may be uh, meeting somebody that they're going to marry. You need to replace your fear with faith. There is a new opportunity that is opening up for you. 
uh, don't lose your focus. This is exciting. There, there could be a new suitor for some of you that is bursting right into your world or there's just a new direction that is, or a new path that is opening up that may seem a little scary to you. Replace your fear with faith and go down that path, okay? Go down that path. I feel a lot of you have been held back. You've been held back by your own restrictions. Stop restricting yourself. Open up. Open up. Do something that you've never done before. Do something spontaneous. You have a beautiful energy around you. Everybody can see your beauty. They can see your uh, beautiful energy, put it that way. Everything happens for a reason. You're going to need to uh, be patient with this new path that is opening up. There's no need to rush. There's no need to hurry. Just go with the flow. Allow things to change. You're going to be receiving something better, better than you even imagined. So yeah, I feel like this month you're going to be in a in a place where you're healing. I don't know if it's from a rejection. It feels like it's a rejection. I feel like you were led on by somebody who had no intentions of following through. And now you're healing from that abandonment, right? You're healing from it. But happiness is right here. It's right here. It really is. The Ten of Cups, it's right here. It's as soon as you break free from that mentality that is holding you back. And that mentality is fear. Fear of being abandoned again. Fear of getting hurt again. Fear of, of uh, letting your guard down. So anyway, um, I, ain't, I don't have much more to say other than uh, I see you uh, stabilizing yourself. I think that you're going to be stabilizing yourself. I think you're going to be working on your stability. I think you're going to be grounding yourself. I think that you're healing. I feel like you're going to be working with somebody else. I do. I feel like you're going to be working with others. I think that this is a new opportunity that is opening. Somebody's going to invite you to something. Maybe it's a... a an event, it's a committee, or it's a gathering, or it's a new job. There's, you're going to be invited to join some people on some sort of in some sort of situation where you may be like, "Why are you inviting me?" Well, if you get invited, you do it, okay? Because this could lead to a lot of happiness for you. It's a group situation. It's like you get invited to this group. Do it. Do it. It's part of your evolution. It's all happening for a reason. Anyhow, um, somebody hit a telephone pole out front, and that's why the uh, power went out. I had to jump out and go see what happened. Literally, right out front, they hit a telephone pole. They seemed to be okay because um, they were out of the car. But anyhow, um, it was instant, okay? It just obviously you saw it happen, or you saw the lights go out. It must have been an electric pole. <laughs> they hit a pole, anyway. Um, head on. Um, but everything is okay by the looks of things. I'm sure it was a shock. I'm sure it was a shock. So I'm sure they, obviously they didn't see it coming. So I think this, you know, everything during a reading happens for a reason, okay? It is all, there's no such thing as coincidence in life. There is not. So I think that you, you, you may have been shocked by some sort of situation that you never thought was going to happen. And here it is. And you have no choice but to accept it. And the temperance is accept it. And, you know, go with the flow and move on from that situation. And realize that there, it was out of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. All you can do now is learn from it and... 
move on to the next phase of your life, which is absolutely going to be beautiful. It is going to be beautiful. So I feel like this is a time where, you know, you're healing because obviously whoever hit that pole head on going to have to heal from that because they hit, uh, they cut it right in half. A pole is in half. They're going to, they got some healing to do and I think that you got some healing to do. And maybe you've been healing and sometimes it takes years to heal. Typically, and we have the three of pentacles right above the healing because you have the three of pentacles, the strength and temperance. Strength and temperance are both healing energies. Pentacles are years. Sometimes, typically, it takes three years to heal. To me, I mean, t the time is, everybody's timing is different, okay? But what I have learned through my experiences doing this and my observations since I was a child that, you know, for me, and, and there's a three on the empress as well that just came to me. Anyhow, three years for me. I don't know why I think that. You know, I, I deliver my messages from my intuition. I've always thought that three years, and, and you're not ever going to be completely healed, okay? Maybe, I mean, but anyhow, um, before you reach a point where you are ready to uh, move on, that's what I have learned throughout my experiences. Three years, three years before you've reached a point where you've uh, done a lot, enough healing to move on, but anyhow... Um, we're going to stop right here This my, from my experiences. Now, everybody's experiences is different. Okay, sometimes it takes much longer to heal. All right. I do see healing there, here. Okay. Anyhow, I got to go. Um, good luck. <laughs>